What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. All right, it is Thirsty Thursday, and we've got a barn border for you guys tonight. We've got the Raiders versus the Rams, and the Rams might be starting Baker Mayfield. Cricket, cricket, cricket cricket okay all right we'll still be here we'll be here but we have some good news on the injury front for the cowboys today uh quentin bohannon was limited yesterday and today but he did practice uh jonathan haskins full go yesterday he was out with a personal reason uh kelvin joseph full uh participant he's getting over the illness j ron curse um was limited with the shoulder but j ron curse has been nicked up all off season and hasn't practiced that much anyway demarcus lawrence limited like yesterday and today and sam sam williams mr billy d williams talks about colt 45 there are two rules to remember if you want to have a good time. Rule number one, never run out of Colt 45. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. Yeah, Sam slash D. Williams um, was a full participant today. So that's all really good news for us. Now, I have to... Um, I don't understand. I don't understand. And maybe somebody else can explain it to me. You know, don't hate just when... I mean, don't hate hate don't win I don't understand and maybe I'm just not that bright but somebody needs to explain it to me because I don't understand I'm stupid I'm an idiot maybe I've been hitting the head too much uh, whatever but I want you to listen to two things here and tell me am I wrong to win that told me it was their most impressive win of the season. It was only by one point, but y'all got to use context when you think about the Eagles' schedule. Remember, the Eagles got a whole bunch of wins, but who did they do them against? You beat a bad Lions team, a bad Jags team, a bad Cardinals team, a Cowboys team led by Cooper Rush, a bad Steelers team, a bad Texans team. Then the commanders shook up the whole world when they beat the Eagles because it appeared as though we knew the blueprint to beat the Eagles. But the Eagles were so impressive because yesterday, Things started bad. Okay, let me stop there for a second. So, Acho starts out saying that, you know, the Eagles have been winning games, but they've been beating scrubs. And so people question it, right? People question it. And then they lose to the commander's left hands up. Then all of a sudden, oh, my goodness. So then they play the Colts. Go on. 50 yards rushing is what Jonathan Taylor had. 50 yards rushing in the first drive. But the Eagles said, you know what? We're going to show that up real quick. Keep in mind, they only averaged 15 yards of drive rushing allowed in the first half of their season. So when Jonathan Taylor gets his 50, you think it's going to be all bad. Eagles defense, they put their foot in the ground. Then Jay, uh, Jalen Hurts, he came out there and he put his foot somewhere else. Fourth quarter, Jalen Hurts, 49 yards rushing, 36 yards passing. Whoa. Eagles out for the Colts, 14 yeah. to three, and they got busy. It was the Eagles. Okay, so the Eagles, he basically said, played like crap till the fourth quarter where Jalen Hurts had 49 yards rushing for a TD and 36 yards passing for a TD. Most impressive win of the season, not because the score was super wide, but because Jalen Hurts in the fourth quarter put the team on his back. That's right. Because the Colts in the first quarter, they thought they had the Eagles down bad. Because Jalen Hurts had to overcome a 10-point deficit. Because there were clear coaching errors, and the Eagles on the road against one of the hungriest teams in football, led by a first-time head coach. All right. Knew what they had to do when they got it done. LaShawn McCoy, Ooh, you were watching. That was a great job. Appreciate you, But can you hear that, though? What's that? MVP, MVP. They <laughs> said MVP in Philadelphia, baby. Okay, we're going to talk about that later. But now tell me yeah. this. How impressive was the Eagles win over the Colts? It was so impressive. MVP, Jalen Hurts. Listen, we entered the fourth quarter down 10 points. 10. Let's not forget that. And everybody talked about, oh, can the Eagles win? Come, uh, can they have a come from behind win victory? Can Jalen Hurts do it? Can he do it? Yes, he did. In the NFL, you're going to have games where you don't play well. You have some ugly games, some ugly wins. And he found a way to win. Let's think about this for a second. The Colts, ugly just win. Saturday's first 
uh, coaching game, right? Mm-hmm. They win the game. Oh, my God. Now everybody loves him. Everybody hated the hire. But soon he won. Oh, he's the answer. So now his first game at home, it was a, first of all, did you know there was a sellout crowd? Yep. Everybody was there. Everybody ain't mama. Everybody in the city went to the game. It was a loud environment. And Jalen Hurts at the end of the game found a way to win. And now they're screaming, MVP. Woo! I like that. Joy, where are you staying? How impressive was that Eagles win? So- okay. So the Eagles fall behind by 10 points to the Colts. Now, Jeff Saturday is the answer. And now Jalen Hurts is MVP because they scored 17 points. So then if that's the case, that you win a one-point game, then what is this? Number one, I will reiterate, I don't think the Cowboys need Odell Beckham. I'm just going to stick to that. If you can put 54 points on a team, regardless of the team, I don't know why you think you need help. Number two, not only did the Cowboys put up 54 this week, they put up 49 three weeks ago. Keep in mind, America, the Cowboys have the most points scored in a game and the second most points scored in a game, and they've done that within the last four weeks. Not only that, it's not just that they beat the Colts, it's how they beat the Colts. Dominant fashion. Forcing turnovers, scoring on offense, a good enough run game, an efficient enough passing game. I think the Dallas Cowboys are everything they hoped they would be and could be. For that reason, this win means a whole lot to me. But LaShawn McCoy, you played several games against the Cowboys. You know the Cowboys well. He knows that. Look at him. Was the Cowboys win something or nothing, big dog? It's funny. You're talking about- now, now, here's the thing. So, the Eagles fall behind by 10 points. Why did they fall behind? Was it the NFL did a creed and said, Eagles, you're going to be 10 points behind. We're going to spot spot the Colts 10 points. No. It's because the Eagles played like ass. And that's why they were behind by 10 points. But go on. The Cowboys looking good in that green. My dog. Eagle green, that is. <clears throat> so, when I watch the game. Cowboys blue? No. Oh, oh, oh. I was like Cowboys blue. What blue is you it? see the blue and the dark in it? What and the blue black? is it? Nah, come on, Cowboys wear like three types of blue, so there's so, no telling. Something or nothing. <laughs> so, the, so the question that you asked. Yes, sir. The real question that is, <laughs> what I learned from this game? Nothing. This, this, this win didn't mean nothing to me. Struggling team. Coach, they just hired off the set. Eagles wanted me to come play or be the head coach. I'll come do it. He did the same thing. Wait a minute. Didn't he just say they were one of the hottest teams with the coach that was the answer, now they're a struggling team with a bum for a coach? I mean, that is, it, it didn't show me nothing. Your home game, you should win that game. Um, but one thing it did show me, though, I will say this, is that CeeDee Lamb, he's the number one. Okay. A lot of questions, I, I think he really is. Turning five-yard passes into 20-yard touchdowns, <laughs> right? Making a, a, a game-managing quarterback look pretty good. Yeah, that's all I got to learn. Oh, and the last thing is that they're hyping the game up for Christmas Eve when them boys see my green boys in green. Eagles, Cowboys, yeah. Christmas Eve. We will get there yeah. eventually. Because you already know how that's going to go, right, Dave? You wake up early chitty, chitty, in the bang, bang. to hate this hard. I, don't hate, I keep it real. <laughs> Does it take extra effort? Come on, man. I wake up like this. This is the indie team that just pushed the Eagles to the very brink. 17-16 <laughs> oh. against that coach yeah, who's lost. never done this before. Lost. 17, 16, one point. Something or nothing, Dave, where you at? It's absolutely something, and here's the funny thing. It's something because the Cowboys didn't even play that well. This game was 21 to 19 Dallas with 353 to play in the third quarter. It's kind of up and down. That- yeah, let, me, let me remind you this. Okay, so the Eagles scored the whole game 17 points, come from behind and win, and it's the best win of the season. The Cowboys were up 21-19. And they were ass? And they th- score 33 points. 33 points. In the fourth quarter. Total points. Three times what the Eagles scored, plus three points. And it means nothing? Dak Prescott had a turnover. The defense was struggling a little bit with Jonathan Taylor. Colts were using quick game and screens to take advantage of their aggressiveness. Sitting there thinking, like, this is what I thought might happen. The Cowboys <laughs> might have a letdown on national TV. And the red then stripes. I blinked, and they had scored 33 points in the fourth quarter. Have, have you ever seen that happen in the NFL? This isn't college. This isn't 
Bama, where the five stars are like, ooh, let me, ooh, all right, let me, let me loosen up. <laughs> we're, we're not playing very well. That's fine. That five happens stars. against Panera State, like Joey likes to say. This is the NFL, and the Cowboys were like, nope, we're, we're done. We're scoring 33 points. It's 54 to 19 in the blink of an eye. Touchdown. Fumble recovery for a touchdown. Another interception. Take that in for a touchdown. Take the next one in for a touchdown. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. And I don't want to get carried away. I don't think the Colts are that good of a team. You shouldn't be able to do that to an NFL team. You just shouldn't. So, yes, for them to play a decent game and win 54-19, to 19, it says that they are on a very short list of contenders. We'll get back to that list of contenders shortly. But, Joy, I want to hear from you. Something or nothing that win. I mean, I, I've heard that the Colts were well coached. It was like storybook ending after one game won. And that's a, that should be a really great win for the Cowboys, mm-hmm. according to all that. All right, let's mm-hmm. be serious. Stop being petty for a second. They're a talented team that is not having a good season, and they are not well coached. That's the Colts, right? Regardless, they still play hard. They still have Jonathan yeah. Taylor. The they've, still, they've still pushed teams and still have wins this season. You – should not be able to do that to an NFL team, like Dave just said. That was staggering. Now, I don't want to get carried away. I am, I am, I am sober from Cowboys juice for quite some time now. I feel good. Body's oh, loose. I got the bags aren't under my eyes. I'm feeling good. So I'm going to fight the urge. But I have to say something nice about the Cowboys. Yeah. I still feel like I'm going to be convinced about the Cowboys in the postseason. But that is just a lot of points. That's crazy. In one, qu- like, in one quarter, that's crazy, Shady. That's a lot of points. Uh, is it crazy? And they did that while it's, not playing you know well. What it is, though? It's not that crazy because that team gave them all that. He just talked about how it was a close game. But right? don't you don't you got to go take it? Like, no. call it a takeaway. You think, you, 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 think you take they, the ball away from what's the You think they, they huh? fumbled it? Dude had a first down on the screen. First down, they fumbled it. But he, oh, oh, oh. Then he, return, he returns it. Next drive, they throw him up. An easy pick. Troop. It's like. They gave him that game. Let's, let's not like it was a hard. You know, you know Matt Ryan, I believe, making $28 million this year. Many say he's a fringe Hall of Fame player. I believe he's a former ball. NFL MVP. <laughs> he's not just sorry. Cowboys got to go take that. They went and took that ball. You think that he, for the two picks that, 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 that America did see, one was behind him. <laughs> and the other one, he just floated. Like, if the Cowboys were in this and really just dominated him, I would give him that. But that's not domination. They gave him that, though. And then real quick. When you, when you get a fumble recovery for yep. a touchdown, right, then you come out and throw him a pick. Because you get the ball on the 20 yep. or 25. Then you throw a pick, you on the other side. At the worst, you don't get a field goal. But if that's not domination 2-5, what is, Big Dog? You got to be objective, oh, man. I'm just what being, is? You know, the problem is people want to read stats. and Oh, this is what it is. No. Let's just really- We're not reading stats. We're, we're doing the eye test here. Wait. So you're telling me that the Eagles. Well, come on, Shady. Come on, Shady. Seriously. You're telling me that your team beating them 16-17, losing behind 59 minutes of the damn game, that that's a huge win, but a team that scored 33 points in one quarter, oh, it's nothing. They just gave it to them. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is where I, I just must be the dumbest person in the world because you are literally pissing on my head and telling me I'm raining. And see, this is the problem here because people believe this crap that you hear. Because here's the thing that's kind of funny, and I'm not trying to take anything away from the Eagles because the Eagles, they've been beating the teams that are in front of them. But just like they pointed out, they weren't exactly the cream of the crop in the NFL. It's not like they were going out there beating Kansas City like the Colts actually did, right? It wasn't like they are beating like, you know, the, the, the cream of the crop. Granted, they beat us with Cooper Rush, although we have a quarterback who is seven and 7-3 against him in his career. They did beat Kirk Cousins, but hey, so did we. But here's the thing that's interesting because as they went through it, and maybe actually beating the Colts was the big win for them this year. I would say probably beating the Cowboys because that's all the Eagle fans have been talking about is that they beat, you know, they are our backup quarterback killers. But when you look at that record and know that they lost to the left hands up, the commanders, yeah, yeah, I feel like, Shady is trying to hype them up to be more than what they are. 
They are beatable, as the commanders pointed out. And it wasn't like they blew us out with a backup quarterback. We'll see come Christmas Eve. Yep. And I'll see you guys tonight for that barn burner. <laughs> Peace.